first time uh, I think I ever got a like a real legitimate feeling Star Wars cartoon. Like, the only other cartoons that existed before these were the Ewoks cartoon, right. which is crap, and the Droids cartoon, which isn't bad. At least they've got like Boba Fett in there and yeah. Stormtroopers and TIE Fighters and Star Destroyers, but... putting Rebels before Rogue One because Rogue One literally leads into A New Hope even though the end of Rebels is at the end of so we got episode 1, 2 then the Clone Wars uh, what's the name of that one? Volume 1 this is the uh, Guinea Tarkovsky as seen it says right there as seen Cartoon Network this was an official series at the time I think it's been decanonized by yeah. D -D -D Disney yeah. And then we've got Scrum. just the Clone the Clone Wars one th episode or pilot seasons. movie That's that actually aired in theaters. Although it is probably next to the Jar Jar Binks uh, Jedi episode, this is probably the worst thing they've done with the yeah. animated series. I I actually it's, don't even watch this. And it's actually the, it, in chronological order. It's actually like in the middle of the Clone Wars. It takes place in the middle of the Clone Wars. Yeah, I think the whole series kind of. Yeah, it's all off. Kind of yeah, drops kind of out of So I got the first two on DVD because I hadn't moved on to Blu-ray yet. I'm going to rebuy them on Blu-ray just to keep... I like I like consistency. I like them to be the same. Uniform. Yes. Nine. No. Um, very specific. Season two. And then, of course, you've got the complete season three, four, and five and the Lost Missions. Uh, then going into... And so those were produced by Netflix, right? I mean, those were all funded by Netflix or at least... Uh, no, no, no? Uh, it's still Warner Brothers. The Lost Brothers. Missions was, was okay. The Lost Missions was still the same animation studio that was doing the Clone Wars. It's the same, the same voice and everything. It's just those episodes were, pro I believe, were in production while they had switched ownership of the. So instead of releasing them on Cartoon Network, they released them on DVD and Blu ray first, and then, and then Netflix, Netflix was allowed to get them. Uh, as part but of that's the all, that's all it was. Okay. Okay. So Disney will probably have the distribution rights for the new series. Let's see the DVD of that. Which one is that one? Which one is that? Right here. Okay. So those are the lost episodes. Yeah. Which are actually pretty damn cool. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mark Hamill plays Darth Bane in that, and and there's very. I, I mean, there's very few episodes. This will be even like six or seven. Yeah, uh, six or. 13. So it's going to be the same as this new season right. as far as episodes. And then uh, the, the this volume two of the Clone Wars, uh, again, it's the uh, Guinea Tart... Is it Tartakovsky or Tartakovsky? Anyways, the creator of uh, Samurai Jack and Dexter. This is like uh, the second macro uh, series on Cartoon Network, but it actually ends right where Sith Revenge of the Sith begins, which we've got right here. Plus bonus disc! And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, if this guy's one. such a collector, how come he doesn't have the box? Well, I did have the box, but it got water damage and it fell apart at the bottom, so I couldn't wow. keep it. It served no more purpose. And then you go into your your rebels, your rebels to Rogue One, rebels to Rogue right. One, Rogue right. One, rebels, rebels, Rogue One, and then the old standard uh, DVD. Of the trilogy. What is this IVVVI stuff? I don't understand. I'm just IVVI. <laughs> then you got the the what was the complete saga. Blu-ray box set, the, the limited edition one. Oh, it's nice. I actually that's really all like six discs. Uh, yeah, oh, plus a cool. bonus disc. You got your Phantom Menace. You got your Phantom Prick right here. You got your Attack of the Clones. I like that image right there. That's a good one. Wow. I've got the high ground. Uh, then you got your <laughs> He's all of a sudden new hope. from Sweden. I got the yeah, high. I've got the high ground, Ani. And then you got your uh, new hope. <laughs> Best one ever. Uh, your Jedi. Two bonus. That's discs. actually Let's really cool. Things. That's a great piece of with Boba Fett on those. Uh, do you know the name of that that creature? I can't I remember don't. that creature. Damn it. Here's the second archives, and I love that picture. Just because, man, his Han looks really good. And look, that does look great. Do you know who oh, the artist and look, is? Do you know who the a artist third is? One. Um, it's okay if you don't. That's know. not Drew Struzan. I'm not sure who the artist is. And then you've got Ralph McQuarrie, like. That's cool. Concept stuff. This one's all documentaries and spoofs. And yet, 
even though it has documentaries, this is why I still have, because again, you're probably thinking, why do you have it on Blu-ray and DVD? Uh, because I also have it on VHS and you should mind your own business. <laughs> but um, well, part of the reason why know, I kept people this. Know. People know why, because it's like you have everything. Yeah, but in this thing, this has this documentary that was made for A&E, uh, Empire of Dreams, which is like feature length documentary about George Lucas and the creation of Star Wars. It's not on the Blu-ray. So uh, Yeah, I have I have that same one. I paid money for it. It's great. No, it's great. It's a movie unto itself. <laughs> really good. And of course we got the new rounding out this collection. We've got the uh, the last two films in the saga. And solo's coming out at the end of the month. So then I'll have pretty much I think everything you can buy. I don't think you can get the holiday special. I don't think you want the holiday special. However, I wish they would have taken the Boba Fett animated sequence that in actually introduced Boba Fett. I remember that. Uh, to help introduce the action figure before, Imp you know, ob obviously two years before Empire. And it's done by Nelvana Animation Studios, who would later on do the Ewoks and Droids cartoon. So was it the cartoon that he came, that he was introduced, or was it the the holiday special? I heard it was, I thought no, it was the holiday special. The cartoon special. is in the, the Boba Fett cartoon is a part of the holiday Oh, uh, okay, okay. So I have the Rift Tracks version of the holiday special, because it's the only way I can watch it, because it's so <laughs> terrible. They don't make too many jokes during the uh, animated Boba Fett segment, because it's, it's the only decent thing in there. And by the way, another fun fact, you probably know this. Uh, Mark Hamill's first time he did voice acting is when he did Luke in that animated special. Oh, okay. You are alone? Maybe I can help you. Yeah, Uncle samples that in their science fiction album. And the first time I heard it, they sampled that and uh, dialogue from the original trailer. I was just like, wow, this is fantastic. I, I, you, you want to know something funny? I still haven't seen, I still have not seen this, this Star Wars, the oh, holiday special. Missing anything. And I just, I, I'm afraid that I. That I, it's terrible. Yeah, Lucas, and that's... I mean, basically, he didn't have anything to do with it. The NBC was like, "You've got to do this." Yes, he said, yeah. Fine, give me the money. Right, go and do right. this. And uh, just basically let them use the characters. Got paid handsomely, and now regrets it. But I'll tell you, that animated segment alone is worth watching. You can probably watch it on YouTube, although I haven't bothered to check. I did. I, I, I did it watch it on, on YouTube. This, uh, box set. I wish that that had was a special feature because they know that people don't want to see it. Uh, it's the same reason why Ewoks and Droids have never been put out on DVD or Blu-ray. Now, if they were, I know I probably would buy Ewoks just because I'm a completionist. Just to have it. I would never watch it because I hate it. But Droids, I would probably watch at least once just for shits and giggles. And I'm sure just the fact that Anthony Daniels is the voice of C-3PO, it's probably somewhat watchable. You know. But yeah, and I'll be getting Solo too just to... Complete it. Complete it. Actually, I actually have quite a bit of Star Trek, too. I have like six times this amount in Doctor Who.